Hold on to your bones, because you're back with me, Skyler Wampus. Today we are taking a look at the Hi-Fi Walker H2. I've had this for a month. Don't mind the box. It's dirty. It's filthy. It's been sat on a chair for a month. It's dusty. So, it's a pretty plain box. It's just got the, the logo and their little better sound, better life on there. And some gobbledygook that like all electronics have. So let's just go ahead and pop it open. And I have it upside down, of course. Of course I do. When you open it, you'll be greeted with the player itself. It has it had a, if I could get it out, goodness. It had a screen protector on it. Obviously that's gone because this is a one month later review. So we'll just set that aside. And below the foam, we have a pull out tab. And like I said, I've had this for a month. So I did not put things back the way they were. Um, you get a very nice, very soft cloth bag. A charging cable, a sink and charging cable, whatever you call it. I'm not even sure this is the right one. Uh, I have so many cables, I don't know which one goes to what. And your user manual and a one year warranty card. So let's just mash all this back in there. And we will move it out of sight and out of mind. And we'll get to the player. And I will clean off the screen a bit because it is filthy. Glass, you know how it is. Turn off the light so we can see the screen. Hello, iPhone. I see you. So as it starts up, it just pops up the logo. It takes a second or two. And like I said, I've been using almost exclusively for a month, so it's a little dirty. And the screen is actually quite nice. Um, as you may or may not be able to tell, it's got your bit rate and all that, and the, the file size or file type. Then you have at the beginning, I, I had to do it backwards because it was scrolling already. You have the artist and then the title and then all the, the bitrate and the file type. And if you're wondering, yes, there is a playlist. You just add it to favorites. And then you can, uh, this is the back button, menu, forward, reverse. And this, this is the big thing. I wanted this, the wheel. I never had an iPod. Well, I had an iPod Touch. It was what got me my first job. But you go into your favorites, and it's got all your uh, ones you've added. And you can click on them. Yes, I'm a teenage girl. I like Mayday Parade. It's all Mayday Parade and Youth Fountain. No shame, not whatsoever. Uh, no, 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 it, it closed out on me there. So these buttons you have, uh, add to your favorites right here. This is the play type or, uh, play mode. Sorry. So that's random. That's in order. Uh, I can't read that. That's all that's single. I think that's single repeat. I don't know. I always just keep it on, on shuffle random as they call it it closed out again then you have your equalizer there are a lot of options for this i use custom i like like it to be a little little punchy or you can turn it off and there's rock classic jazz pop dance vocal blues heavy metal 
and then back to custom and i just like i said i just like a little punch a little punch in the lower range uh, mainly because i can't hear so well and if you click on them you can actually let's see here you might be able to see up here one of them turns yellow as you scroll through you click it again you're able to adjust that band so it's a lot of uh a lot of availability for customization, I feel. Being able to set your own custom equalizer. I like that. Uh, Bluetooth, it just turns on... I guess I do need to talk about Bluetooth. I guess I do. Bluetooth, it does um, both directions. So you can connect Bluetooth headphones to this, or you can use this as a Bluetooth headset, which means... I don't have any headphones with me right now that are hooked up to my microphone. Um, but say I wanna use my wired headphones with my iPhone, because I have an iPhone. Um, of course, everyone knows, like no phone comes with a headphone jack anymore. So that's just useless. So what you would do is you plug it into your headphone jack, turn on Bluetooth and connect this to your phone and you'll be able to listen to your f music on your phone through this into your wired earbuds or headphones, whatever. And I really like that. I will say on, I think, two instances, there's been a kind of a popping noise um, in intervals. It'll happen once every five minutes. I don't know. No, we're changing songs. I bet that little talks. It is. Look at that. Yeah, I worked at Walmart. I got Walmart music in my head forever. Um, I really liked being able to connect my headphones, wired headphones to my phone without using a dongle. Uh, Partially because there's this thing offers a lot of customization as far as volume goes. As you can see, there are you can move up one step at a time, and there's a hundred steps. Max is out at a hundred. So you know you can really dial in. Uh, what else do we have in here? Wallpaper. That just puts a thing up there. I don't. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It just says music in the corner. It's it's kind of funny, but I keep it off. So let's go into the actual settings. Well, first of all, you have a fire, a file explorer, and these are just I have everything um, categorized into bands. just for easy navigation. But I don't use that. I use the, the music tab where it categorizes all your songs. It'll do that automatically when you put in a an SD card. Um, and then we have settings, which is music settings, automatic and manual. Automatic just means it's gonna do it automatically when you put the SD card in there. Manual means you need to do it yourself. Your equalizer, again, um, same thing as before. Play mode, same thing as the little menu. Random order, list repeat, single play, single repeat. But like I said, I keep it on random. And gain is like how much volume you need. I keep it on high because there's no need. I, I don't feel any need to change it. You know, I don't have any really power hungry headphones. Um, but if you wanted to, you could turn it on low. And if you're using like IEMs, theoretically, you wouldn't have any hissing noises. I don't have that. Or if I do, I can't hear it. Uh, I can't hear very well. So that's, I will say that now. I can't really say that this is a high res player because I can't hear very well. I just want the music. I wanted an offline device that could hook up to my phone, 
hooked up to Bluetooth headphones if I wanted. I haven't, because I imagine it would just sound like Bluetooth headphones. Um, decent battery life. And just, uh, in general, an offline device that can't be interrupted by anything. That's why I got this. Replay gain? I'm not entirely sure what that does. I don't know. Balance is obvious, you know, left, right, left, right. And you can turn off the album cover if you want, but I don't know why you'd want to. Wallpaper, we covered that. It's off because it's stupid. It does have the option to show lyrics on the screen, but none of my songs I've taken the time or tried to put lyrics on, but it will show lyrics if you have the lyric files. Gapless, it will do gapless play. I have that turned on. And memory is just, what's it gonna do when you turn it on? And I have it to last song. Volume set is memory. There's also like custom, you can set when you turn it on, what it's gonna be, and then default. And I keep it on memory because I'm an idiot and sometimes hook it up to my phone and have it turned up way too high. And if you have it on custom, it lets you set the custom value here and you're back to the top. So let's go over to system settings now. You got your language. I'm not going to change that because I fear that I won't be able to put it back if I do something wrong. Themes, which I just keep it on A because it looks, it looks a little blue. but it's actually black. A display, you have your backlight timer, your brightness, and it gets, I, I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy with how bright it gets. Maybe you guys can see it a little bit better if I turn it down. Not so washed out, I guess. Idle shutdown time, which means if it's not playing and you're not doing anything with it, after this set amount of time, it will turn completely off to help save battery. Or you can schedule a time off, which is like, say you're going to bed, you just want the music to play for an hour, you just set it for an hour. I keep that off because I listen for hours and hours on end. Bluetooth settings is just where you pair and there's also the option for high quality audio through Bluetooth. Um, I honestly, once again, I, I can't hear very well, so I'm not going to speak as far as quality goes, but I have it turned on. Maybe that contributes to that popping I was talking about, I'm not sure. USB mode, this is, say when you connect to the computer, what it does. There's the option for USB or DAC, which is digital to, audio, uh, digital to analog converter. Um, to play higher res files than most computer DACs can. I will say, I noticed in the user manual that they said the DAC was going to be going away. If you're buying this for that, I would maybe recommend looking elsewhere. I don't know how true that is. I don't know when they're going to do it, but the manual does say the DAC will be discontinued. It still works right now for me, and I have no intentions of updating the firmware, but I keep it on USB because it's just, it's really simple. You just drag and drop into the file. It shows up as an external hard drive. It's just easy. Font size, you can make it itty bitty, medium, and I just keep it on large because the only time you ever see it is when you're in the menus and I'm never in the menus. Uh, reset, I'm not gonna push that because we all know what that does. About the player, it'll show you how much memory you have. I just used the micro SD card that came with it. It came with a 32 gigabyte card. And I've used like, what is that? Two and a half gigabytes? I don't know. I don't really worry about high res files because once again, I'm deaf. Version, firmware version is 1.5, like I said. They did mention in later firmwares the DAC would be discontinued. And because of that, I'm not gonna update my firmware, like, ever. 
and then your about screen just all the good stuff young and that's it as far as settings go we will go ahead if you hit back enough it'll take you back to what to play in uh secondhand serenade okay the quintessential emo kid i am yes turns out it wasn't a phase here i am 30 years old still listening to this stuff uh, let's take just a quick walk around the actual player itself lower down get kind of tired so of course we have our physical scroll wheel or mechanical scroll wheel like it actually spins you can see it by the dust and debris that i've already got in it and of course back that would start the song over again next obviously next song you can hold to scrub I do that sometimes, not often, you know. Back. Depending on where you're at. Might take you somewhere. I don't know. And then if you hit it enough, you go back to the actual now playing menu, which opens this small little menu. And to get that back, you just hit back to get it to go away or just wait a few seconds and it'll go away. Goodbye. Um, it is made of metal, metal and glass. This this is in fact glass, and the back is also glass. Very very dirty glass, but we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. On the top, give your power button. Hit it. Nothing else will do anything. Perfect little fidget toy. And one thing I will note on the bottom, you'll see we have headphones, we have USB-C, and I want to stress this. When I bought it, the Amazon listing showed that it was micro USB. And I looked today, before I filmed, like two minutes before I filmed, and they're still advertising it as micro USB, but the one I received is USB-C. So happy days, happy days. And you have your line out in case you want to send it to say a stereo or a car. It's going to be maximum volume. Otherwise, if you go in the headphone jack, you'll have to actually dial in the volume to where you want it. And you got this little lanyard loop. I don't use that because it just goes in my pocket. Nothing on this side. This side you have your volume rockers, which you can hold or go away. You can press once and then dial dial with the uh, scroll wheel. I'm gonna turn that down because I'm going to totally forget about that and blast my eardrums out and I don't need to lose any more hearing. And then also on that side, you have your micro SD card slot. Um, very open. It is flush sitting, but I would recommend you keep it away from water because that's very open and I just don't like that. Uh, one thing I will note, this play button. Let me see if I can get close enough. Can you guys see that? It like, It's got just a little more wobble to it than I would like. I understand it's probably just a, a standard button glued on there but it's just uh, it, it bothers me especially when it's like that like it doesn't affect the operation but when I'm scrolling when it's like that I feel like my fingernail is gonna catch it and I'm gonna pop it off like that's just a fear that I have LED indicator to show you that it's on and that's about it as far as the player goes. Now, as far as size, I understand hands are kind of funny and you might not have any experience with these items up here. So we will have an SD card adapter for micro SD. And I also have, if that's not your style, I have a fourth generation iPod classic 
little bit smaller than the iPod, a little bit thinner. Very, very pocketable. It sits very well in my shirt pocket. That's where I keep it. So to close out the video, oh, look, it's me again. <laughs> Um, to close out the video, we'll just go ahead and shut it down, and I'll show you that. It's pretty much just the same splash screen. And then it shuts down. It's real fast when it shuts down. Yeah, I, I've been using it a month. I like it. Like I said, I can't speak for quality. I can't hear very well. I just want to hear noise. Happy noises, or I guess, I mean, you saw my music. It's, it's all sad music whatever um, I just want to hear noise and it does that and it does it well um, if you're just looking for something you want to get into get a music player in 2022 because you know why not I can't say anything I did it uh, yeah I, I like it I like it I can't I don't have anything bad to say about it besides the play button and the occasional popping in Bluetooth and that like I said that only happened twice after several hours of listening and I've had this a month that's been my experience I wanted to put this video out because when I was looking at this thing like I, I was dialed into either this thing or I think it was like the surf fans or something like that um, there was only like two videos out on this thing I will say some specifications as far as SD card goes, it will support up to 256 gigabytes. However, it will only support up to 14,999 songs. Uh, any more than that, it's going to freak out. That's just uh, from the Amazon listing. I've not tested that. I don't have a 256 gigabyte card. Uh, I have 128 and it was in there for a long time. But I decided to use it elsewhere uh, because I don't. You saw I used like two gigabytes, and some of those are flax. Even it will play flax. Um, I'll put a list up right here. Right, point, point. Here, put a list up of uh, what formats it will play. Uh, they do say on Amazon it's not compatible with iTunes. However. If you download your purchases, it downloads as M4As. I put those on here and it has been playing. I think I've had two instances of it saying unsupported format. Um, it's not listed on the photo, but it did work for me. So I guess I don't have a whole lot else to say. If you've purchased it and are just looking for happy words, then congratulations. I hope you enjoy it. I do. Um, if you're thinking about purchasing it, uh, go for it. I like it. I really do. Like I said, I'm no, I'm no audiophile, but I've used it with IEMs and I've not had any like hissing or popping or I mean, other, other than the Bluetooth popping, I've not had any hissing like some IEMs have on high gain devices. But I've not got a whole lot else to say about it. I like it. It's a good device. It's served me well for this past month. I recommend it. And I'll see you guys later. Toodles! And you got this little lanyard.